Okay, I don't know why, but I just hate paper straws. Does anyone else hate paper straws? <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to taste. It's not good. Ooh, that was good. Now we're back at the car. Hey, this thing looks so good. <laughs> Do I drive a sexy car? She said kind of. If you're a car guy, do yourself a favor and find yourself a car girl. <laughs> and there she goes. She's going to work. My big girl. All right, have a good day at work, sweetie. Oh my goodness. And again, here at Formula S. Wait, wait, wait. I see these guys more than I see my own grandparents. I'm running into issues on the track where the, what is it, the steering rack is hitting the frame or what is hit, what's hitting the frame? The wheels are hitting the frame when I'm holding more speed and G's on kind of like a sweeper. Like at Riverside, it was, when I'm doing that right turn, that high speed right turn, it's pushing me out. Like, it feels like I'm under steering. It feels like I'm losing power steering. Like the steering gets really heavy. And then also turn one of Streets of Willow clockwise, that kind of long kind of kink right before that tight turn two. I feel it hitting there. So we're going to raise the car a little bit hoping that'll fix that issue. Uh, the car is definitely low. It's not rubbing by any means, except for at the bowl. On top of that, we have the 949 Racing Hub steering wheel extender. I wanted to throw this on at least kind of like a temporary Band-Aid until I can get an aftermarket steering wheel system set up. Just because I've noticed on track when I'm all strapped in, there's some tight turns where <laughs> You know, where like my where my seating position is, I can't turn all the way. Like my arms literally stop and I can't turn anymore because the steering wheel is so far away. Um, because if I was any closer to the steering wheel, then my feet and my legs would be all bunched up. So perks of having an Asian body and a fat belly. I can't really reach over. So hopefully this will bring it out so that I can reach. Yeah. Actually it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> it's like I'm on lowering springs. It's okay, Boss Boss has a high ride height too. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, look at the ride height. Ooh, brother, ooh. Ooh, brother, ooh. <laughs> Here's a before. And after. Oh, we gotta put the cover back on, but yeah. So it adds about, I don't know how many, this is about like a foot long, right? That seems average size. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, six inch, okay. So it's about an average, about an average <laughs> spacer. Just like on the Formula S car, they have an aftermarket steering wheel setup that is frog drive kind of whole system here that allows for a more ergonomic, lightweight, steering wheel but you get to retain all the factory buttons for dual duty daily driving and stuff um, which is what this car actually does sometimes for the shop you get to have that extension so you can get that really good seating position formula s does do orders for them so you'll be able to pick it up from them bonus mod for today because i need to have instant gratification and they had it in stock the gr aero stabilizer just seeing it on their car so this is without it. See it on their car, you see just that pocket going into the trunk here. A lot of leaves and stuff will get caught in there. So this will help alleviate the leaves, but then also hopefully do what the name of the part is called, the aero stabilizer. So we'll see. This is the sub 155 right here. <laughs> if you want it done right, you bring it to Formula S. Wow. Way better. The little GR logo from the back here. Not that you can see it with the giant wing in the way. All right, last piece for today. Formula S has been a huge, huge help in this build and just me growing as a driver. 
Car is prepped and ready. All the bits and pieces, settings, everything is set up. Thank you, son. And I'll see you at Chuck Walla in three, two, one. You sure about that? So we are at Formula S the next day. I got a haircut the other day looking fresh. And I went to go get my wheels balanced and it found and I found out that they are balanced, uh, but they're bent. So scrounging around for hours on Facebook Marketplace trying to find something uh, for the track day, I hit up Sun and Formula S and they are graciously letting me borrow some wheels and I'm just gonna be giving them some money for the tire wear that I'm gonna be doing on them. But now that I see what they look like, I can never go back. <laughs> I don't hate the color either. So we're taking out the Motegis uh, because I don't want to run on track with the bent wheel, right? Yep. So uh, yeah, and I'm gonna be running these bad boys. So last minute things to do before we head out to Chuckwalla, but once we're done here, I'm gonna head down to Chuckwalla. We got a cabin, so yeah. So it's my first time at Chuckwalla, so I'm excited to see how it is. So I'm not gonna be really focusing on getting the fastest lap. I mean, obviously I am naturally, but son's gonna be driving my car, so. I'm probably gonna sit with you for a few laps before I go out. Yeah. I'm gonna put on the GoPro sit passenger so y'all can see firsthand what it's like to be passenger princess for God hand son Vo. A couple of quick reminders, keep this window down, no handheld devices and keep your hands inside at all times. Okay, so sat in with Sun for a little bit. Uh, pretty much just did like a few laps. Um, he wanted to see what he can do and just for him to honestly have fun and kind of teach me. Um, but we were running into a weird issue where it feels like the pads or the, the brakes are running into like that ABS. It's kind of like jittery. Like as soon as you like kind of lightly tap it or like press on the brakes, it starts going like which is not ensuing a lot of confidence in the braking zones, which is huge for carrying a lot of speed into the corners. But his lap time, he did almost have two sub twos at one point. So that was, that was close. First thoughts of Chuck Walla, um, it's terrifying. <laughs> 
it's definitely pretty high speed and it's it's just like a lot of sweepers and carrying momentum and carrying speed which I'm definitely not good at but I mean I'm guessing this will be good practice for me so I was doing a lot of stuff where I was like dang that's crazy I'm not gonna do that <laughs> like it's, it's definitely a fun track if you're very comfortable with it and you're very comfortable with your car so on the first time out this okay riding riding passenger is a lot scarier because it's like i have no idea what to expect and obviously it's a lot faster than what i would be more comfortable with so when i'm going at my own pace it's a little bit better yeah i did about 208 so eight seconds off of what sun is doing in my car but it's funny because i was joking with sun saying like i uh i hate that he set a baseline because when i when i just go down the straight and do one turn, it literally just lights up red because <laughs> I'm not going fast fast. So that's the only downside. Sun's also actually um, driving other people's uh, cars. So there's a there's a there's a guy from my church here who who also tracks, and he has a bunch of friends that track too, and they have like Porsches and Audis and stuff, and uh, they're asking Sun to drive their car just so that they can show them what their car can do. So Sun's literally like, he just drove out on a, with a GT4. Now he's on like a 911 turbo. So, uh, <laughs> Sun's just having fun. He's got to driving everybody else's car. And I get to babysit the baby while Sun's out driving. Yeah, so the issue I think we're running into is that the rear brakes aren't getting hot enough to kind of even out. Cause I do somewhat daily drive my car, but I think there's some like, some warping or kind of like weird like i don't know what you call it to us it seems like the rear brakes aren't heating up for for the for it to like run through the rotors and to clean it up um but by the time it gets warm the tires are already hot and the uh the fronts are already hot so it kind of just blows past that that point but
right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see how this video turns out. I, I really don't know, but yeah.